Hello everyone, my name is Ashwin Timal and today we are going to see a project on cryptocurrency using Python. So in this project as you can grasp from the title only. So in this project we will be having a Python framework which is host which will be our hosting a blockchain network and then we will be having a website which will be like uh, accessed by the client for sending the cryptocurrency over the network. So before moving the project let me show you some demo. So so you can see so this is our main page whenever the user this this is our starting of the blockchain this one first is the genesis block it don't have any transaction and the previous has is set to zero its current has is zero so you can add transaction let's say okay, i want to add youtube let's say i want to add a smith send one to sense to subscribers let's say amount 10 so i can send it will be like you will be getting alert like this transaction will be added to the block too when any user mine a new block they will have to wait and then it will be getting a message congratulations you just mined a block refresh page to see a new block so let's refresh so as you can see i got a new block here and also you can see this previous has is matching this previous has is the same has that we have got this has so basically you can see the blockchain properties over here we cannot immute that we cannot change the data as it's immutable because if we change any data the highs will be changed and it will be not matching with the previous one so yeah that's the concept of the blockchain that we will be seeing today so let's get started uh, let's first start with the technology that we will be using and then we will go through the reference that i have taken to create the website or this whole project so let's first start for the server so basically our project will be divided into two parts like we will be having a front end where we will be having a react project and a front server where we will be having our hosted blockchain so for the blockchain or for the server we will be using python as a language so basically as you know python is like a famous language which we use for scripting language for doing daily projects or like life to life daily pro objects then we have a uh, flask so basically flask is a library on the python which is used for creating a micro server so basically like if you want to create a server in no time or just a like a startup server or just for the basic one you can opt for the flask it's very fast and you can host your like projects like in this i'm hosting my blockchain over the flask so yeah this is from the server let's start for the front end part so for the front end part as i guess everyone knows we will, i will be using react so react is basically a javascript library for building user interface so it's declarative and component based so it's like you, it will be changing the states according to it and all the things are based on the component and then yeah apart from that for the designing purpose i have used mui so basically mui offers a like a vast amount of components pre ready you can explore this mui they have a like built in components like calendar this 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 one this one so you don't have to write the code again and again you can just copy paste from here it's a very good library for you all next i want to like show you the reference so the creating a project i have taken the reference from this udemy course so basically when i was learning blockchain i have taken this course blockchain a to z learn how to build your first blockchain it's a course by hadlin de pontivis kirill aramaco legacy team so sorry for the pronunciation so you can opt out this course also if you want to like learn blockchain it's a very good course apart from that all these things i have hosted on the github i will be pasting i will be copying the link on the youtube description you can clone it for your project so let's get started so so those who don't know github so basically github is a version control system software so basically git is a version control software and github is a platform for supporting this git technology you can host your repository you can host your code over here so that everyone like i am hosting my code on github and now everyone can check my code over this this link so you can get this code over the, this link so let's get started if you don't know git you can use git if you have or make sure you have git installed on your local system you can check it by doing git dash dash version you can download git like if you are using windows you can use git for windows for downloading the git or if you are linux you can do it for the linux also also if you don't want to download the git you can get the code by downloading the zip also then you don't have to use to be git installed just download the zip and extract it so let's say you want to clone the repository so open your terminal 
let's go to where you want to like clone your repository let's say i want to in the extra directory i want to get this project on this extra directory write a git clone and then over here and copy this link and paste it here then press enter you can wait for some time for cloning it yeah once it clones you can check i got a new project name as blockchain so cd over it i have one yeah you can check the front end and the server you can open a vs code so yeah before moving further let's give you a like a brief introduction about the course or like before the brief introduction of what what is having under the hood so let's first see the high level and then we will go into the into the depth i will be starting from the server part and then i will be go to the front end part so let me big the some issue the some size so yeah first i have imported some libraries or dump some packages that i will be using next i have a blockchain class so in the blockchain class we have like the create block method getting previous block message and proof of work so basically proof of work is a like concession consensus mechanism of blockchain we have many consensus algorithm like proof of work proof of stake dpos lpos proof of attention etc so here i am using proof of work which basically based on like solving a crypto cryptographic puzzle also cryptocurrency widely used cryptocurrency bitcoin also used proof of work so in this you have to solve the hash and you get some target value or some target leading zeros so if you in the hash you have these five leading zeros then you can solve this block or mine this block so this is the proof of work then getting hash chain valid add transaction add node replace and these are the some function of the blockchain and from here the blockchain class is empty now i want to host this blockchain we can't do like i can't do it on my system it should be like everyone to be accessible so for that i will be using server or i will be requiring a server so for that i you can see here i am importing flask so flask you can get the server you can create a flask by like this line only so you can create a flask server after that you can see these are some rest api endpoints so basically rest api endpoints are the endpoints which a client let's say ki hit so get to information let's say you type www.google.com so basically this is a endpoint so when it hits the server it return you a html page similarly you will be having some some domain name in front of it and after the domain name you will be having the path like which which method you want to run for this path so then these some block like mine block get chain is valid chain add transaction connect node and replace chain so this is the blockchain part uh like uh, and then you have to run it as a server let's me open a console or control this terminal so like if you do ls we have front end and server let's go for the server sorry this server yeah you have to install these libraries that i have to use for that you can use pip install dash r requirements dot txt this will install all the additional libraries that you will be requiring let's wait so yeah all the libraries are installed then you can like open the server like this python3 node.py so this will boot your server so basically now we have a server and everything is set up let's if you go over this link uh, like uh, let's say go over this get chain method so basically get chain method is defined here so with get chain method you get all the blockchain like we have a one genesis block so whenever blockchain uh, like whenever blockchain start any blockchain whether it's real or fake they have a genesis block jo genesis block is the first block it don't hold any transaction it just a block which which indicate that it's the starting block so you can see we have one block over here similarly you can add transaction with the post method and then if you check get chain you will getting one more chain one more block over here so this is the server part next we will be going to the front end part so yeah like we have the server running like you can see we have a server on you can see running on the http page also showed you the requests 
like you can see the request but i don't want to like user don't like to see these type of json response user want to see a like json like a front end website like i shown here so i have to create a website from this response so let's go to the front end code so the front end code is available in this front end part so let's go over here first let's minimize this yeah so i have the front end repository so here we have the components like these are the pages like add transaction screen the blockchain screen where all the blocks will be shown then the header like we have shown so for that for running these repository you will be having to run a client also like previously i run a i run a this server this is the python server and then i want to run a react react front end where i will be like getting the responses so for that let's first move over to the front end repository now i am in the front end front end folder make sure you do npm install on your system it's necessary because npm install all the packages so like python we have a pip for installing python packages similarly for installing node js packages we have npm so make sure you have npm installed then do a npm install dash dash save this will create a node modules directory and which like this will create a node modules directory which contains all your like plugins that are required for this project so let's wait for it to be completed till then we can go over to the core code so first we have a app.js file uh, it's hard to be understand let's wait for this code then when the when it's up we can show you how the live work so yeah it's completed next i have to do next you have to do npm start so this will start a front end or this will start your website it will take some time about 1 minute oh it's fast never expected so yeah let's wait here yeah as you can see the page loads here we got the first response like you can see this is the response that this was the server response that i get from the server and this information is now shown in a de de designing way like in the front end like this code is like consumed by the front end and then we have a block over here for visualization purpose here the block number this is the time stamp this is the transaction this is the previous has and this is the has so basically all the information that was here was shown over here and this was with the front end so let's me show you the front end code so the front end code start with the app index.js file so this is the first file which creates a like root or like the starting of the web page then we have a root route so this this indicates that the if we don't have any route go to the blockchain screen so let's go to the blockchain screen so this is our blockchain screen so these are some react code so this fetches the this, this fetches the get chain like the same link that i have shown over here this fetches this endpoint and then wait for the result once the result is fetched then it is shown in the like what to say in the html form we have a container then we have a grid and then grid we have a list of all the blocks that we have presented over here so you can see this all the information is over here so let's see the next next page so next page is a add transaction so this is the page from where you can do a transaction like i have shown in the demo like let's say my name is asmit i want to do a transaction to someone else let's let's say xyz i want to do a transaction let's say 5 5 5 bitcoin or 5 coin any whatever name you want to give and next you have to click a send button so you will be getting a message this transaction will be added to the block 2 so basically this transaction is not added yet this added to a transaction board so in a blockchain we have a concept of transaction board so all the transaction that happen goes to the transaction board and whenever a miner mines a new block whenever transact what what a miner does basically takes all the transaction from the transaction board and then try to solve a cryptographic puzzle to get a hash once he get a hash he then do the hashing and then we add all the transaction from the transaction board to the blockchain once it added to the blockchain now it cannot be revoked it becomes the immutable so similarly now we have the transaction on the transaction board no new no new blocks added till yet once you click on a uh, mine new block 
you can get a message like congratulations you just mined a new block so new block is now added so if you go with this response if you refresh the page you can see i got two new blocks so one was the previous one genesis block and now this one is added to me so this is the new new block that added you can see it has the hash the previous hash is the same hash of this hash it has a proof so basically it's the proof it's basically a nonce you will understand once you do a blockchain course it's the timestamp and you can see the transaction that we have done so asmit had transferred to the xyz and this is the five coins so you can see yeah this is done also you can see like if you know blockchain every miner gets a reward whenever he mine a new block so you can say the blo this is our blockchain contract address so basically it's just a random screen for now in the real it is a blockchain uh, wallet address and receiver also have a wallet address and then the senders or the blockchain sends the receiver 10 bitcoin or whatever the re whatever the reward they have set to the miner so this is now you can see over here when i check the restart button you can see yeah i got two new blocks over this was the genesis this was the same block that we got over here so this is how the whole blockchain is working in this project let's go over to the some other like this add transaction page so you can see over in the code over here this add this dialog box is over here add transaction screen so this is the dialog box you can see dialog titles and crypto coins so this is the dialog box that i have created once user click on this send button it's 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 so it uh, it do a hit on this add transaction rest point basically do a post request on this add transaction endpoint with the data this data then goes to the server so you can if we go over the server this there is a add transaction method so this goes over here what it does it takes the json method that we have sent it gets the keys over here and then add a new transaction in the blockchain so blockchain dot add transaction so if you go over the blockchain this method add transaction you can see the transaction board say we have added a new transaction over here and just return a new block index so this is how this work over here this send button once you click on a mine new block let's say what is this mine new block so mine new block button is available on the header part so where is the my header so if you go over here header you have a new button like mine new block so it call a function name as mine block so if you go over the mine block it's take another rest api endpoint which is known as mine block so it wait for the it hit it it hit the mine block endpoint let's say where is the mine block endpoint so mine block endpoint is this so what it does it takes the previous block previous hash and then add a new transaction over the blockchain and then return a response like you just added a new block blah 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 so this is how it's done everything is now in on the place and you can add more transaction over here similarly let's say one more transaction yeah these transaction will be added to the transaction again when on whenever new minor blocks a new block you get a new message and then when you refresh you get a new block over here you can see so again also you can see the hash this hash is available over here so this provides this this helps in not breaking the security or helping not the data to be changed so yeah this is all from now you can check out this project and let me know if you have any doubt in the comments thank you